Hello, my YouTube fam. What you're looking at is, if you remember an earlier video, I got that uncirculated roll of wheat pennies that have that mercury dime ender in it. And you see there's a wrapping for it and everything like that. <clears throat> and the cool thing is, is there's that mercury dime I got, a 1942 mercury dime. So that'll add to my mercury dimes. So I got, okay, I have three of them. And as you see, we got, these are all the, not all of them, but I mean, you got the stack right there too. I'll explain it. But in this stack, we got all the pennies that, I did look at them all. I'm looking a bit closer. And, but I didn't see nothing wrong with these pennies. <laughs> these pennies, I saw a few, look like uh, die cast errors. Maybe would have double dying on those. And this stack of pennies is 1942D, sorry, 1944D, 1944, and 1945. So that's how many of the 44D, 44, and 45 um, wheat pennies I got. And I will be throwing up the prices of the coins I got. Starting with that Mercury Dime, ending with what it cost for, well, the price of a 44D, a 44 Philadelphia, and a 45 Philadelphia coins are that are not steel. I do got a steel uh, penny, of course, but I didn't get it in this stack. In fact, you know what? Here, let's have a little fun with this. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Three, four, and forty-five pennies are supposed to be made out of steel because copper was running short and it was wartime. Like I said, I will show you. I will throw up the price tags of the coins I found that I think are worth money, and all you gotta do after that is throw me some comments and let me know if you want a wheat penny because I'm sure I'm gonna have extra wheat pennies. I am gonna purchase another uncirculated unsearched roll of uh, wheat pennies and in hopes of finding that mysterious 1909 wheat penny with a VDB on the back so hopefully I find it and if I do I will be happy but like I said I'm going to go through the, these and find out which ones are the matches and then I'm going to throw out a wheat penny or two to my viewers if they want one because hey gotta admit they are pretty cool Okay, my YouTube viewers, here's the, Merc the 1942 Mercury Dime. As you can see, 1942 Mercury Dime. And depending on its conditioning, go anywhere from $2.65 up to $5.25. Unless it is in a pristine, uncirculated condition, then it'll sell for four grand. Unfortunately, mine doesn't actually, is isn't in uncirculated, pristine conditions. So I wouldn't really get four grand for it, but still. You got to admit, that is a nice value right there. Time for the pennies. And here are the prices for a 1944 wheat penny, whether it be a steel wheat penny or non-steel wheat penny. <clears throat> so I got a 1944, I got two 1944D um, wheat pennies and a lot of 1944 non, no mint mark uh, wheat pennies. But if you look at those prices, I mean, look at that. Anywhere from 11400 to 8400 depending on if they're MS68 plus, or sorry, an MS68 red or MS67 plus. Steel wheat pennies go for a lot more. I mean, look at if you got a, if you got a steel wheat penny, that's 1944S, you get the most money for it if it's uh, MS66 grade. Come on, that's a lot of money. $373,750. That's a nice chunk of change. All right, time to check the next ones. The 1945s. Man, here you go, my TikTok, my YouTube fam out there. Sorry about that. 1945 Wheat Penny with no mint mark, which I have a few of. And depending on this condition, can sell for... 
almost 2500 bucks. So here, let's take a, a good look at it. On a side picture. You gotta admit, that's not bad looking. So, there's the prices for the coins I got. I don't know if I actually got any good coins worth any money. I mean, the Mercury Dime might be worth a few bucks here or there. I don't know if I've actually recouped the money I spent on this roll, but eh. Whatever coins I get to keep, I get to keep. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.